Okay, very good morning to all. And here is my V Brown back presentation on VNF managers you must know. I am Trinal Somanchi from NXP India. And uh, welcome to the presentation. And here I am going to uh, give a general background uh, and the VNF Mana world, the happenings, and uh, the booming VNF managers, and the complete summary of what they are. And uh, here is the uh, general background. Uh, with respect to the different stakeholders and uh, different architectural functionalities and different flavors and different other aspects and uh, with respect to upcoming challenges from uh, software development uh, aspects from VNF manufacturers and uh, deployment operation challenges from network operators and uh, assurance and building a kind of challenges from service providers, CTSI has provided a very good uh, NFV end-to-end -end architecture to showcase the uh, complete VNF uh, platform here, NFV platform here. And here I'm going to concentrate mainly on the NFV Mano part, where uh, the NFV orchestration and uh, uh, virtual network function managers and virtual infrastructure managers are a part of it. And here, uh, no doubt that our virtual infrastructure manager OpenStack plays a complete uh, uh, role in that. And my uh, presentation is more covered into uh, NFVO and VNFM, where they are deeply coupled here. And regarding the VNF managers, uh, we have it is the very key component, uh, as we discuss in the furthermore slides, uh, in the NFE MANO framework. And uh, it also concerns with respect to the uh, NFE orchestrator and the virtual infrastructure manager here. And it helps standardize the function of virtual networking and interoperability for uh, uh, SDN elements. It does the complete lifecycle management uh, with respect to the uh, functional uh, block diagram shown here. And moreover, in the NFA dialog, uh, the most important thing is uh, 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 service agility, cost cutting uh, with respect to expenses and virtualization and uh, with respect to carrier grade things. Uh, it, it is a very booming market for many other telecom vendors coming to a, a, a group and forming a group and developing their own Mano, uh, Mano software to uh, solve their own challenges that they are uh, placing in the NFA world. And here is the fun complete view, uh, view of the functional blocks of what a VNF manager does. Uh, as per, as I, I have uh, uh, told before, it is a lifecycle management. We have here the VNF onboarding, uh, the VNF instantiation, VNF upgrade and upgrade operations. And it is with respect to the self-healing or auto-healing uh, methodologies and configuration of your virtual network functions, either by the element management system or with respect to the virtual network functions. Uh, and then uh, with respect to the all uh, related to the tasks uh, operations on the VNF uh, and scaling, auto scaling with respect to the demand and the load on the uh, complete functional block and termination of the VNF as and when necessary. And moving forward, and here is the complete uh, overview of uh, uh, the VNF managers in the uh, NFE MANA world. Here we have OpenStack, a big umbrella, and we have the OpenStack Tacker promoting the Vancouver Summit. And we also have Open Baton, which is uh, open source by Farm for Focus and TU Berlin. And we have the ETSI homegrown open source group, uh, Open Source Mano, a kickoff uh, in um, uh, April 2016. It is a homegrown project from ETSI. And we have Open O, it is a just booming uh, an open orchestrator. And furthermore, we have Open Net, and we have also Cloudify. And uh, uh, furthermore, slides, uh, I'll move uh, into uh, uh, some technical details and some overview details regarding these uh, NF VNF managers. And initially, the VNF Tacker. VNF Tacker uh, combines the NFV or orchestrator and uh, the VNF manager. It is a combination here. And here are the complete things about it. And it is, a v it is under the very big umbrella of OpenStack, uh, for, uh, following the guidelines and the governing model of OpenStack. And it is a combination of orchestrator and manager. And the, the complete uh, VNF catalogs are stored in as descriptors in the database. It follows the Tosca templating, uh, using the and also uh, use this the heat for orchestration. And here, uh, it supports a specific driver uh, kind of approach for uh, configuration uh, insertion. Health monitoring is a loadable plugin provided in the taker. And moving forward, and here we have the open source MANO, which is, we call it uh, something like awesome. Uh, it is a homegrown project from uh, ETSI open source group. And here are some of the details. Uh, it started with the running code. And here, the governance model is something like uh, uh, already existing open source software is stitched to uh, give up the minimum basic uh, functionality of this. 
and uh, it is the initiative that is greatly demanded by the service providers and here is the uh, open source software that is used uh, uh, to bring the minimum functionality into place open mano for nfvo rift ivo for ser uh, service orchestration and network service management and uh, uh, Juju Chams uh, uh, from Ubuntu, uh, VNF Manager, and OpenVM as uh, Virtual Infrastructure Manager. And OSM also supports uh, OpenStack as uh, VIM. And it has a service orchestration and uh, a resource orchestration as decoupled. And uh, it is uh, more predominantly in uh, EPA support and also uh, support multiple VIM. Uh, and moving forward, we have uh, OpenBaton. Here, uh, it is also uh, an NF uh, uh, Vivo uh, with the generic uh, uh, virtual network function manager. And here we have a very good uh, uh, features with respect to OpenBaton. And it is led by the European Frankfurt Focus NTU Berlin. And it combines uh, with element management system, virtual network function managers, and uh, network function orchestrators uh, with multiple uh, virtual infrastructure manager support. Uh, it is, has a support for Tosca template where it is now becoming mandatory that uh, these VNF managers support the Tosca template for defining the metadata of the VNFs. And for health monitoring, it, it uses an, uh, the Jabbix and it easily integrates with uh, OpenStack. One beautiful thing with OpenBaton is that it provides a library called OpenBaton Lips uh, uh, where you can build your own VNF manager uh, with your own architectural design and everything. Here, the, with respect to the, uh, the governance model, uh, few people, a uh, few telecom vendors are betting on this uh, uh, to solve their challenges or they are facing in the real time environment. And here, uh, everything is stitched, uh, is, a, uh, is coming as an open source. It is a single entity managing the things. And uh, the other one is the OpenVo. It is just in an architectural discussion. Now it did, did not have started, but it is. Uh, uh, richly vetted by China Mobile and uh, Chine other Chinese telecom companies. And it also has a generic uh, VNF manager with a network uh, function virtualized orchestrator. And it is launched by the Linux Foundation recently. It has the motto that uh, operating operation support systems to open source software. And it has uh, it is a model driven framework uh, like all the other, uh, I mean this is the uh, very good model example for model driven framework where everything is something like a driver or a plugin support uh, extending uh, in such a way that this uh, uh, open orchestrator is extendable to any kind of uh, uh, element management system or uh, virtual infrastructure ma uh, virtual infrastructure managers and uh, virtual network function managers and SDN controllers interoperable and it is still in an emerging phase where. Uh, there are uh, uh, much uh, technical discussion going on on uh, architectural designs. And a uh, uh, few more. Uh, to go here, we have the Open at Wavier, uh, which, has, which is the recent release is 1.2. It is a lifecycle management, uh, a software driven one. They uh, open it uh, uh, purely things on uh, rather than uh, uh, virtualization. It is more important uh, for software driven uh, virtual network function management. It also provides a generic VNFM because a generic VNFM is provided uh, so as to use its capabilities of orchestration, but it also pro uh, provides other kind, uh, other or multiple VNFM managers, uh, and it has a single point of control and configuration, providing a single API for co uh, controlling these things. And uh, it is a, uh, we have a communication called Viva. Uh, one uh, Viva is the VNF uh, uh, VLM. VNF Lifecycle Manager uh, is a communication here. And apart from that, the good thing here is we have a performance manager, a microservice uh, that is a part of element management system. Because in the ETSI, NFV end to end architecture functional block, there is an uh, uh, interface between the element management system and the virtual network function managers. And also, there is an interface uh, for element management system to the VNFs uh, for controlling the or uh, managing the VNFs. So, in this, in this uh, functional block, uh, the differentiation or uh, the management by VNF managers uh, into uh, uh, by VNF managers for the VNFs or the element management system to the VNFs is the uh, most departing part and the uh, element management system can manage the VNF VNF manager using the element management system can also manage the VNF or element VNF manager can uh, deeply manage the VNF these are uh, certain uh, type of uh, things uh, the functional block it itself provides and we also have Cloudify from Gigaspaces, and it is a pure player orchestrator uh, based on Tosca. And it also provides a generic uh, VNF uh, M, uh, virtual network function manager. And uh, here, uh, 
it is something like a communication uh, community edition that it is providing and uh, some uh, op some of the code is open source it is available in a github and some of the uh, uh, code is uh, this one and uh, here is the complete summary of with respect to several aspects and elements how these uh, different VNF managers uh, support it with respect to community governance, Apache, Apache 2.0 license and other uh, things. And uh, the good thing is Yang support uh, for networking and Tosca support for a virtualization, uh, virtual network functions is provided in a few of the things. And with respect to NXPware into NXP world, with respect to Core IQ NFV platform, here is the complete overview of what NXP provides in NFV. And that's all.